Hi, I'm Kate, and this is Stan. Hi. We're from Portland General Electric Switch Labs, and today we're going to take a look at Vampire Power. Now, that's the energy that electrical devices consume when they're plugged in but not being used. So the question is, does Vampire Power actually waste much energy? And to get the answer, we're going to use this guy. Booyah! <laughs> it's called a kilowatt energy meter. And we're going to use this on pretty much everything in this typical house to find out just how much energy things consume when they're not being used. And you can actually check these out from libraries across the state, mm -hmm. courtesy of Energy Trust of Oregon, to see how your house compares. Energy is measured in watts, mm -hmm. but there's a handy rule of thumb that you can use to convert watts into something you might care just a little more about. If you have a device that uses one watt of energy and you leave it plugged in for one year, it'll cost you one dollar. So one watt, one year, one dollar. That's it. Got it. Easy, huh? Yep. Okay, is that everything, Stan? I think so. All right, let's get started. Let's do this. Most of this is because of the two computers that are always on. That lamp costs four dollars, and it's not even on. So it turns out that the most expensive area in the house was the media center. Yeah, that video game console costs $102 a year to leave on all the time. And the stereo system it's plugged into is another 61 bucks a year. But when they were turned off while not being used, the cost was about $2. That's $161 wasted every year just by leaving on things that you're not using. And that was just for those two things. Now we know that making energy changes can be difficult. So here's an easy way to get started. When you're done using a device that you plug in, make sure it's turned all the way off. So, what do we do with something like that lamp that was still consuming a lot of power even when turned off? Probably the easiest thing to do would be to plug the device into a power strip and then make sure the power strip is turned all the way off. It's a great idea, especially when you're using a group of devices all at the same time. You just hit the switch on the power strip, it turns off everything all at once. So, vampire power, what did we learn? Well, we've learned that it can be a big waster of both energy and money, We've learned that a power strip is a great way to turn off a group of things all at the same time, and, oh, there's one other thing. These videos always tell you to do three things. Help me out, Kate. Well, how about that you can check out a kilowatt at your local library? Perfect. Yeah, you can check the savings out in your own home. If you do pick one up, drop by switch.portlandgeneral.com to add your results. And even if you don't pick one up, check out our website to find out what other people discovered, see our other videos, and then let us know what other topics you want to see for next time might help you slay a few vampires of your own. 